We're finally gonna talk about melee weaving. This is a play style for hunters that can drastically increase your DPS. The reason why I haven't put this video out yet is because the melee weave macro or script kind of became popularized within the community, unfortunately. And that is really just one button on your mouse that will move your character in, do your melee, and then move your character out. Basically the exact right amount of moving in and out for almost a pixel perfect melee weave every single time. But even then, a lot of people have been asking about this video and it's just a fun playstyle. So I figured why not show you guys how to do it? This is gonna be somewhat of an oversimplified guide because you already do know your actual complex rotations. So now we're gonna just talk about adding in melees to those current rotations you already have. And later we'll have some clips and tips sent in from my boy Dars. That'll be some advanced tips for you to actually increase your DPS and squeeze out that extra bit of damage or make the actual movements a lot smoother. First off, before we even get started, you really wanna set your character up to be able to melee weave. Two things that are vitally important. One, of course, is to have a two-handed weapon. And then the second thing is you always want to have Wind Fury in your group. Now, you can melee weave without Wind Fury in your group, but it is huge how much damage you gain. Then continuing in setup, go into your interface and make sure that you turn off auto attack and auto shot in the combat section of interface. You need this turned off or else there's going to be like a 0.6 to 0.8 second delay on your next auto attack after every melee weave. And we don't want that. We want this to be as fluid of a motion as possible. Then you need your melee weave macros. I use a couple different ones. One, I have this mouse over macro, which is actually a little bit redundant. There's actually too much on here, but basically what it does is while I'm attacking my normal target, I can just mouse over and melee weave against a mob without having to move whatsoever. Say on Maru, some of the humanoid ads are right next to me. I can keep meleeing them whilst also DPSing the boss without ever having to move or worry about changing targets. I can keep just pumping the boss. Now my main melee weave macro is showing on the screen right now. I basically have Raptor Strike on here. It also will then do my normal melees whenever Raptor Strike is off of cooldown and it will continue to do kill command. I do consistently use kill command myself. It's actually my three key, but it is nice to have on your melee weave macro because when you're using your mouse or you're using W and S, whichever you're using to move forward and backwards, also pressing your melee weave key, it can be a little bit slower to also be hitting your kill command key at the same time. When you can just have these together, it just simplifies things makes it a lot easier. The next macro would obviously be my steady shot macro. It's just a steady shot macro with kill command on it. You don't even need a macro technically for steady shot and then also an auto shot macro so that you can make sure you're pressing auto after you're moving and getting back into the normal rotation. And the last thing you might want to get done in terms of setup is to have some sort of range checker. There's a few different weak auras you can use. And on top of just range itself, you also wanna be tracking your melee timers as well as your raptor shot timers. Because a general misconception would be for anyone who doesn't melee you often, thinks that you just melee off of raptor strikes. And that's definitely the way to get used to doing it but you actually wanna melee almost off of every single melee GCD that you can. Okay, so you can see that I am here in Blasted Lands. This is the best place that I think to practice. You can go to Dire Mall or you could go to the immune mobs up in Shadow Moon Valley, but I think Blasted Lands is really good because you can have a nice kind of distance check on the mobs to get really used to moving in and moving out. One of the best ways to improve at melee weaving before I even say the actual rotation is just gonna be to practice it as much as you can. You could even spend an entire day and fully master this technique if you just sit here and build this muscle memory. It's easiest when you first start learning to just go off of raptor strikes, and it's also easiest when you first start learning to not really worry about melee weaving when you're at a fully hasted, bloodlusted, and rapid fire rotation although it is still a huge DPS increase if you do it well. Now, the best way to obviously utilize the play style of melee weaving is to always be moving as little as possible, as well as doing as little clipping as possible. And with any sort of weak or you probably have one that's tracking how much you're clipping your shots, you always wanna be doing 
just as little bit of movement as possible with as little bit of clipping as possible. If you're at 5511, you can fit it in during those breaks where you're doing the multi shot or the arcane shot. You can just move in and get your melee weaves off, and you don't have to clip yourself at all at the unhasted rotations. It's very, very smooth at unhasted rotations. You know, whenever you are giga hasted, that you have to let more auto shots go out than steady shots. Well, whenever you're in between an auto shot where it's going to be another auto shot right after, this is the perfect time to be moving in and melee weaving. And again, you want to have as little actual movement as possible, but even if you clip yourself a little bit, you're going to be increasing your DPS. Of course, one thing you do want to know is that whenever you move, it obviously cancels whatever auto shot was going on or any sort of like cast. So try to make sure your auto shot does go out either before or after your melee weave. But as you get more practice, as you get used to the play style, you'll get a lot better at pulling this off in between your auto shots and your steady shots. Now that you know what the rotation kind of is, let me tell you some tips to help you actually be better at doing this. And the first one is you're obviously going to be moving in forwards and backwards. So you're either using the W and S key really quickly in rotation, just pressing them as fast as you can almost. If you are utilizing W and S as your movement keys for this, try to make sure that you have your Raptor Strike macro somewhere on your mouse. It's a lot easier if it's on your mouse or some people have it on foot pedal to pull it off while you are moving your fingers on W and S because you do need two fingers if you're going to be moving quickly doing melee weaving. Another way to pull this off that I think is potentially even better, and I've seen a lot of people doing this now as I've even gotten better at the play style, is using your mouse to move forward as well as press your raptor strike and then just S instantly to move backwards. The second you're putting your mouse forward, you press your raptor strike macro, do it and back, do it and back do it and back. Eventually you will kind of move too close to the boss and you won't move back far enough. Just don't freak out, take another step back and get back into your normal rotation. So what I would suggest at the beginning of the encounter is get your positioning right every time and hopefully the boss never moves. Your very first melee is the most important one because it gives you a baseline of how close or far you are to the mob or boss and how far or close you need to move in and back. And this actually will change when you're lusted. You get a slightly bigger hitbox when you have bloodlust. If you do get bloodlust and realize you're not actually doing any auto shots anymore, you do need to just take one quick step back and it'll be the same amount of distance you need to move in and out to be in melee range and auto shot range, but you do need to change it slightly when you are getting lusted. And lastly, I've got a couple advanced tips from Dars to squeeze out a little bit of extra DPS. Now in the clips behind me, you can see either weaving in also arcane shots while moving in or also moving in with some serpent stings and also flame traps. So setting down a trap mid melee weave. Trap weaving is something you're gonna wanna get used to now because you're gonna utilize it a lot early on in Wrath of the Lich King as a hunter to min max the survival spec and get a ton of lock and load procs. This is a really mana heavy way of playing and it's an advanced tip where it squeezes out just that extra bit of DPS if you're really trying to pump as much as possible. There's also this new website that you can go to if you want to check your own logs or other people's melee weaves and see what's closer to a perfect melee weave, where you put in the ID, select your name, and then select the fights, and it'll analyze it for you on three separate graphs. So feel free to use it. I'll have a link to this in the description as well. Now that's everything I can think of right now for melee weaving, everything you need to know for how to do this playstyle. Know that it is absolutely a DPS increase and you absolutely should do it, especially if you have Wind Fury. And it's a really, really fun playstyle to just spice things up on the Hunter. You will see crazy DPS spikes and you will absolutely destroy the meters. Shout out again to Dars. Thank you for all of the advanced tips and for joining me on this video. And if you guys want any of his information or to catch him live, make sure to check him out on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Dars. Also, if you want any of my macros or any of my UI to help you guys set up things or you have any more questions, either hit me up on Twitch or check out the Discord below that does have all of the macros.